Good morning, beautiful people. My name is Kathy, traveling with Charity, and I travel full-time in my RV with my babies, Hope, Faith, and Cassie. Today is the day that we're gonna have our last uh, gravel, and I am so excited because it looks really, really good. Um, but, I gotta go downtown for a couple of things. I wanna get a rake. I wanna get, um, somebody suggested something to pull um, so I can load whatever in and just pull it around. And I wanna get one of those. And I, um, I need to get dog food. And that's really the reason why I'm going downtown. Oh, and also, I'm getting um, my mic. It's at the post office um, for, so you guys don't hear so much wind. So today is a good day. I got a couple of things that, uh, that I'm, I'm bringing in to the, my RV kind of thing. I'm gonna show you my first thing that I got. Um, and it's gonna be really, really, really useful, especially if it gets really hot. But it's June, almost the middle of June, and today was 44 degrees this morning when I took my walk, and the high is 77. So, this is the best weather ever. Um, Quartzsite is 109, Phoenix, Arizona is 115, so I made a really good choice. But let me show you what I got for this, uh, for myself. So this is what I got for us, a new generator. And this thing is a beast. Um, I'll be able to run AC and microwaves and all kinds of stuff. So I'm so excited. But let me show you around a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. Let me show you what else I got. I got an ice maker, you guys. I am so excited about this doggone ice maker and you know who I've got it from Anthony right and lately all I've been making was is iced coffee in the morning it's just like the best but I've been I used to buy well I've been buying like um a lot of car a lot of ice all the time and now I'll be saving money I got the ice maker at Walmart for $88 so I'm excited about that. I moved my RV from here to here and it's only temporary because, um, you know, he had to put the gravel down and everything like that. So today, what he's gonna do is finish this up right here. And I want to get a rake because see all of the little plants growing? Wait a minute, let me zoom you in. See all the little plants growing? I want to get rid of those. I mean, there's nothing really that I can do to stop things from growing except I could have, we could have put the plastic down. But, oh my God, how much money that was going to cost me. And I don't mind the grass growing in between. I think that looks pretty cool. It's just the big plants. I don't want these suckers, you know, to grow in. So he has to do this little bit and that little bit. So it's not, it's not bad. And guess what else I got? It's a pretty day. 
it's a little it's not that windy but probably it sounds like it's really windy but it really is it I've been taking care of Mrs. Plum Mrs. Plum I've been taking really good care of her and here's Mr. Plum yay so hopefully I will help them grow. Goodness gracious. You know, people keep telling me uh, that actually live here that um, fruit does grow out here. However, no citrus. Can't do any citrus. Citrus will not grow at all out here. But my dogs really love it out here still, of course. And the one thing that I was worried about is, um, you know, when I put the gravel down, it will hurt the paws. But there's Hope, you're okay, huh? She's bathing in the sun. So the gravel is a lot of like little dirt and stuff as well. So it's not hurting their paws. They have been playing, rolling and everything. And where is Cassie? Here she is way over there. But at least she doesn't go far anymore. I didn't tell you the story. Let me, about, I don't know, two weeks ago or so, um, Cassie got away from me and I was just like totally worried. I look in a distance and she is chasing four huge, I don't know what they were. They weren't deer, but they looked like deer and they had white chest and they were beautiful. She's chasing them in the woods and they're running from her. I mean, I'm calling and calling and she doesn't come. And I finally, um, I hope and uh, hope and I, hope Faith and I, we got, back to the uh, RV, got in our car. I'm driving through freaking bushes, <sighs> scraping up my little car. <laughs> and she's not coming. And on my way, I was like, okay, let's go home. Maybe, we, maybe she's back there because I left the door open for her. And I drive slowly. I get her, I get the two bowls and I'm banging them together because that's, she knows it's feeding time, right? I'm crying. The girls are looking at me like, what the hell is going on? And I'm driving, getting ready to drive to the RV. And she pulls out on the streets. I didn't even yell. I, didn't, I, I just like ran up and hugged the mess out of her. And I don't know. I just can't wait to get that fence. But then again, it wasn't even about having the fence or not because we were on our walk. So I don't know. But ever since then, because she couldn't find me, because it was about 45 minutes when I was like, you know, really crying and scared. And ever since then, she has not like wandered off. Because after she went so far, she probably was like, oh, snap, where am I? <laughs> but anyway, I'm waiting on the guy with the dumpster, and then I'm going into town, and I'm taking you with me.
get my supplies, tell them to deliver my water jug, all that good stuff. Hi. Good, how are you? Good. So the first thing I want to get is a wagon. Oh, I should have got that wagon that was here before. It's not here anymore. I knew I should have got it. It was the shape of this, but it didn't have grass in it. So I'm gonna look around. I need one of these as well. So let's see which ones I'm gonna get. I was thinking this. It's kind of big. Let me see. I guess that's the same size. I think this is it. This is the one I'm going to get. Well, I found what I was looking for, that little wagon thing, and um, they're just gonna assemble one. It came in a box. So they're gonna get it together. I'm so excited about that. Thank goodness. These elderly ladies are actually selling guns, rifles, 22, nine millimeter. Well, I made it home and I'll show you a couple of things that I got. First, I want to show you this. Remember I told you that the dogs were eating the wrong grass and I was going to get some whatever kind of grass it was. Well, anyway, crabgrass, I do believe it is. But anyway, wheatgrass, crabgrass. Anyway, I bought it. They didn't like it. It's dying. They go outside and eat the wrong grass and they throw up. <laughs> Don't know what else to do. I just watch them, you know? I watch them and hopefully they don't. But you see my hat. It's perfect. I'm tired of peeling. My cheeks, my ear, everything is just peeling. It's so hot. Not hot. The sun is so bright. So let me show you the wagon that I bought. I've been gone, I've been gone for a couple of hours and he hasn't come yet. Look at Honey Bun. So yeah, this is the wagon that I bought. It's perfect. I got uh, this rake to rake it down smooth. Because all they do is drop the load. I mean, they make sure that it's on a long line or whatever, but they don't actually smooth it out or anything like that. So I got the wagon because there is a lot of, uh, let me show you really quick. So this is where I'm gonna get the extra gravel from, from because it's like a, you know, they drop it and that's, that's just about it basically. But look at all this. It's like a huge hill. Look at all that. And it's all over the place. So there's extra um, gravel. So anyway, like I said, I can like fill all this in with the extra gravel all the way down, that kind of thing. Anyway, let me show you my speaker that I have to prevent from hearing all the wind. Hi, honey bun. So here it is. I just got it from Amazon. Let me turn on some light. So I guess easy peasy charge 
that's it. Yep. So I'm wondering, is he coming today? He's supposed to. So anyway. Oh, and by the way, I love this hat. The uh, There's an elastic inside, and then this right here, the string, it holds um, the hat on. It won't blow, but yeah, I'm excited about this hat. I know I look like so weird or strange, but you know what? It's going to help me with this sun. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the new subscribers that come along. And I want you to make it a great day and be free.